Congratulations, Gail. Thank you. Um, you mentioned a, a few days ago and also on the court, you know, how much seeing your name on the awning with Yannick Noah and Arthur Ashe would be. What did each of those players, what did each of those players have been meant to you? And how, how does it feel to have, see your name with them? I mean, they've been an inspiration for me, you know. I think I, I grew up, uh, you know, with uh, those names. And uh, definitely, you know, to have my name next to them, it's, uh, it's priceless, you know, it's priceless and uh, it's meant a lot for me. I'm very happy and very proud and uh, actually, you know, it's, uh, it's something uh, that uh, I had once with Arthur, you know, uh, he won the Stockholm and I won the Open and now to have uh, Arthur and Yannick in the same, I have my name next to them, you know, I'm very happy. It's, it's a special moment for me. Uh, congrats again, Gael. Uh, you were 0 for 8 in 500s and Masters Finals before this victory. How does it feel to get this uh, big one? Yeah, I'm happy, you know, I'm, uh, I'm very happy, you know, it's, uh, it's been a, a good year so far, you know, and uh, for me it's still uh, it's a good step, but uh, hopefully, you know, I will have bigger than 500. Um, just to follow up on the question about Yannick Noah and Arthur Ashe, uh, I don't know if you know this story, but back in 1968 when the tournament was being founded, Arthur Ashe said he would play the event if black faces would come out and watch the tennis. He wanted it to be in a public park in an in integrated neighborhood, not in an exclusive private club. So I'm just wondering, like, do you notice that when you're here in Washington, that there are more black faces watching the tennis or that it's a public, more of a public environment with the park? I think I saw like a lot of association, you know, and this is uh, feel great, you know, I mean, uh, definitely, you know, I like uh, those things, you know, it's uh, for sure I'm part of those things in France, you know, back in, at home and, and definitely, I mean, uh, for this, I know that uh, how Arthur was uh, involved on the on, on those things, and uh, you know I'm more than happy. That's why it's even better for me to have my name next to him and actually here also. Down, <clears throat> you were down a set, down a break. Karlovich hasn't been broken the whole tournament, serving for the match in the second set. Where was your mind at that point, and how worried were you that that was going to be it right there? You know, as, to be honest, I was like, okay, I need to play point after point, but uh, still have this little uh, hope, like uh, maybe I will have the same chances that I had uh, in the first set, you know, love 40, so maybe it will get tight a little bit, and obviously, obviously it, it gets tight a little bit, so, you know, I was like, uh, I need to make him play, it. and uh, if I have the opportunity to have a passing shot, I need to put it on the court, and uh, actually, uh, you know, it was this, but... Uh, when he came back at Juice, he was like different. I saw like, oh, that, that's one that's gonna be tough. And uh, I think I've been very lucky that he missed uh, two volley, you know, and uh, and then this is it, you know, the, still the belief, but uh, it was very tough. In terms of returning his serve, you started off at the beginning of the match way back. You moved up later, you, you, you were bouncing side to side as he was about to serve. Was all, were you hoping that something there was going to give you an edge at returning? Were you hoping maybe you'd distract him a little? What, what was behind the thinking with all the movement there? You know, the everything, you know, you, you want to, to feel it, you know, it's like also uh, against, against him, actually, it's, it's a feel, you know, you need to feel uh, because I couldn't see where I actually was serving, you know, so it was a feel, you know, when you move and, okay, you, you have more speed, so, you know, with the movements and if you go anticipate in a, in, a, in a good, actually, way, you know, and with the, with the movement helps you to, to get faster, you know, and uh, it was more for that and then far in front, whatever, you know, it's, it was was the plan but at the end you know I, I knew a little bit that you know he start to serve and volley for two hours in the in the heat so also that's why I think uh, I come a little bit closer you know at, uh, at, at one point because uh, I knew that uh, also it won't be uh, that uh, easy for him to, to do it all the time. Hi congratulations Thank once you. again um, I believe the announcer said that you were semi-finalist finalist and you've played here several times before. Talk about how finally winning this time, what's the difference from all the other times that you have played, other than the fact that you won it? <laughs> uh, I think uh, 
The first time I came here, I lost to Johnny, you know, very tight match in semi-final, you know. 7-6 in the third, actually, and uh, it was a similar match than this one today, but it, I was very unlucky, I guess. And uh, then I think I had the opportunity against Radek, you know, like five years ago, but uh, I couldn't manage to win it. And uh, to be honest, today was uh, pure luck, you know. I won't say that uh, it, it was like few shots, few opportunities, and uh, with luck, you know, I, I managed to make it. But uh, today it's, uh, it's special, but uh, I know at the end it, it was few shots. It wasn't like a, a regular win, I will say. Okay. Um, you talked yesterday a little bit about the schedule this week. You played most of your matches in the evening, so this was going to be your first match in the in the heat out outside in the in the daytime. So, what was it like adjusting to that? Um, and and how much time did you spend? You know, especially when you were down match point. You know, how much of a of a sort of driving factor was your your record in finals and and not wanting to have another loss in a final? despite the heat, is that part of what pushed you forward? I mean, the heat for me is fine, you know, I always say, you know, I'm from Caribbean, so, you know, heat is not really hit me, actually, you know, it, I'm, I'm pretty cool with that, and before, you know, the, when I, I think I arrived Thursday, I've been practicing in the afternoon, so we play, it was fine, you know, and then, uh, as I say, I, uh, like my record in, in finals it, is, uh, it's great because people I actually talk about that, but as I say, I have a lot of, I was a teenager and impossible to win some finals. So I always say, yeah, but uh, maybe I have 10 finals that I couldn't win. So actually, I don't really care about it, you know. The crowds. They were chanting during the second set tie break, mon fils, mon fils, mon fils. Did, how much did that? spur you on, if at all. And also, you used a, uh, he's a serve and volley player, you knew that coming in, we all know that. But you actually kind of invited him to the net with some well-placed and timed drop shots. And so did you want him to come into the net? So yeah, first, uh, the, the crowd has been amazing. I mean, always I get uh, like unbelievable support here and uh, for sure helps a lot, you know, helps. and. Uh, at some stage, you know, helps to, 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 to have something extra, you know, and I think I did. And uh, yeah, sometimes, you know, I, I try to, actually I like it to, to, for, for me to, he, to come to the net because, uh, you know, at the end uh, I knew that he would come and uh, it's better to know when he's coming than when you don't know when he's coming. So at the end, you know, it's fair enough for me to, to say, okay, I know you will come, so hear the ball to come and then I was ready. It's better to know when the, the opponent is coming than when you don't know, you know. Okay, last two questions here. Yeah, um, his net game, his net, uh, well, his serving volley game, as he's coming to the net, I mean, what goes through your mind as far as trying to, I guess, best strategize against him covering the net? Are you trying to mostly pass him because you did have some, some sex doing that? Uh, or were you trying to, you know, get it over him because you know sometimes that's a bit of a challenge as well. Uh, it, it depends uh, actually tactically how we come. If you go down the line or if we come cross, you know, you always try to adjust uh, your passing. You know, if uh, you see a window open, I know it's it's big, but uh, it's not that fast. Also, you know, to to go to cover the net. So if I find a gap, I can put it fast uh, to to. I mean, in your in his feet. But uh, most of the time, you know, I feel uh, sometimes you have a small, small window and uh, you need to use it, you know, the line or the cross. So, to be honest, it depends. It, okay. And, uh, you know, how do you, how do you plan on celebrating and will you come back sooner now that you've won here? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, when you have a title, definitely you want to, to defend it. But uh, as I always say, I don't know <laughs> the schedule of next year, you know, but uh, Definitely, it's a tournament that I love, and uh, definitely I will come back to, to defend. Are you going to, do you plan on doing anything to celebrate? Uh, not to celebrate. Uh, to be honest, no, nothing, you know. I, I try to fly out uh, to Toronto and uh, tomorrow practice, I think, three to four. That would be my celebration. <laughs>